Sometimes the easiest and the most straightforward solution is the best. Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorials. My name's Nigel. Right, in the last tutorial we had successfully captured a image and saved it to a file. But our application has a image gallery running along the top, a horizontal image gallery. And that wasn't being refreshed. That's image gallery is actually based on a recycler view. So basically we hadn't yet swapped the adapter and it wasn't such a straightforward um, it wasn't so straightforward just to swap the adapter in in the callback as such because we we're running in the wrong thread it was a background thread let me explain what i mean here so ideally in this callback here we'd want to swap the adapter but let's see where this callback this callback's actually being called in the context of still image here now let's see where still image is being called still image is being called from the session callback and if we go to session callback we can see we're setting up session callback on the background thread that means we can't access any variables directly from that live in the ui thread such as swapping the recycle view um, uh, swap adapter, exchanging the adapter from the recycle view. So we've got a little bit of an issue there. Um, my original intention here was to create a handler, then inside the capture callback here was then, in, inside the capture callback would be to create a message to send to that handler, and then from the handler itself, um, have that handler running on the UI thread where we could then call the recycler view members and swap the adapter. And then I just realized, well, ha hang a minute, uh, we've got, when we set up this callback here, we can decide what handler for it to run on. So instead of having it running on null, which is at actually the background um, handler thread, we can actually have it running back to the UI thread and then we can swap the recycle view uh, adapter. So that's what I'm going to do. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a handler um, that lives on the UI thread. And I can call get main looper. I can get main looper runs on the UI thread. So I put my handler there, and then it's just a simple method of putting our UI handler into the capture callback. So now when this capture callback runs, it's going to run in the context of the UI thread and I can just directly call um, swap adapter in the recycle view. So I'm just going to comment out this toast here. And I'm going to actually make a new method here. This will become more um, evident why I'm doing this in the uh, following tutorials. Let's just And to the two method calls I'm going to call are actually inside on activity result. So let's just go to that. I just need to paste these two and put them into our method. 
Now inside here, we can just call swap adapter. Swap image adapter. And that's it. Okay, let's try running that. And let me record what's happening on the screen. Okay, let's take a photo of this Wi-Fi router. So what we, should, what, what, what we expect to happen here is, once we swap the adapter, the most recent image here will pop up on this left-hand side. So let's take a photo. And here you have it here. You can actually see we've updated the image adapter with the latest image here. So expected behavior what, from what we'd want to see with this application. Okay, so that, that's it to the coding for this tutorial. I just wanted to explain on how we had set up more than one thread. We'd set up a background thread handler just to remove the burden and loading on the UI thread. But because we're inside a capture callback running on the background thread, we then had to call some members that exist on UI thread. And so we had to communicate there. In a simple way with the camera, with the, uh, the way that the camera two APIs are set up, we could just put a handler that points to UI thread. So we could just put a handler for the callback for there and access our swap adapters and update our recycle views. So that's just it for this one. Um, the next tutorial, I'm gonna be working on actually clicking on the recycle view and up, uh, displaying the image in the full screen. Anyway, that's it for this tutorial. Remember, if you haven't already subscribed to my tutorials, click that subscribe button straight down below. Click on that if you're running on a PC. And I should now be entering into my Mac computer there, and you should now see all my social media icons. So let's see, to, to my left should be the Twitter, to my right should be the Facebook, or other way around. And there's my other social media links as well. So if you want to keep updates, I post to Twitter quite a bit whenever I'm making any announcements or updates, use Twitter for that. All my data, also, I make regular posts on Facebook as well. So feel free to um, follow and um, like those various social media links as well. And there should be another tutorial following on from this, which will be actually getting the position of the file from the uh, uh, Recycler View adapter. So I can then get the information from that to open that particular image in its own view. Anyway, that's all for this one. Bye for now. So we've got the camera application that you should all be familiar with. And if I click on the first one, I've got position zero. 